Off you go, trouble. Well, guys, I can tell you now, this ain't gonna be a happy vlog. This is gonna be a grumpy vlog. So if you're here for happy vibes and cheerful viewing time, then just click off now, because you're not gonna get it today. Um, so yeah, this week's basically been getting worse and worse. <laughs> it's been such a crap week this week. All right, I know you wanna go back in your stable. Okay, 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 hang on. Let me open the door and you can go back in, hang on. So you will see in one moment, just one of the many problems that have turned up this week. All right, off you go. That's a lame horse, a really lame horse. For literally no reason. There is no, just, oh, I have no words. I literally have no words. So I basically came down and got blue in yesterday and uh, yeah, he's lame. <laughs> For literally no reason. Like, there's literally no reason for that horse to be lame. Oh. It's like 2023 all over again. So do you remember this time last year when I booked dressage? Oh yeah, we're supposed to be going to dressage tomorrow, by the way. Yeah, haven't told you guys that yet, have I? So yeah, we're supposed to be going to dressage tomorrow. And um, if you recall, this exact thing happened this time last year. So I booked Woody in to go do dressage and the day of the event, he came out of his stable basically on three legs. Um, and it would appear that the same thing is happening this year. Yay. Um, <laughs> told you I wasn't in a good mood today, guys. So yeah, he's, um, he's lame. Um, as you can see, he's very, very uncomfortable. So he's suffering from a fairly horrendous Malander's issue at the moment. Um, it literally came on out of nowhere. I've actually got a little bit of footage um, from cleaning up his legs yesterday. I've got so much scabbing off the back of his knees. It's unbelievable. I'll let you guys have a little look at that now. What are you doing? <laughs> He's a funny beast. <laughs> Oh, blue, ew. I have been oiling his legs very heavily for the last few days, but it doesn't feel like it's made much difference. <laughs> Are you photobombing? And um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to go for a shampoo, soak, rinse, repeat method here and just see if we can get as much of this off as we can. There's just so much of it in here. Like some of them are starting to come to the end of the, ends of the hair now. Like you can see, like, see all this? Like all this, like dead skin, like none of it is attached to him at all. It's just kind of stuck in his hair, but it's all stuck in his hair, like right down the bottom. Like, can you see that there? There's just like this thick, horrible clump. Oh, there goes some of his feathers with it. But this is what he's like on the back of his feathers. Literally from here to here, it's just solid that. Um, and obviously it's pulling on his skin, it's pulling on his hair. He's not a happy bunny. So yeah, he did have some pretty extensive scabbing on the backs of his legs. He's still got a little bit there now. Um, I'm gonna put some oil on the backs of his legs in a minute and just get that softened up again. I don't know if that's what the problem is though. I really don't like, it could be what the problem is. I, I really don't know. Like I can't feel any heat. I can't feel any swelling. There's nothing in his feet. I can't see any bruises. He's not even done any flipping work this week. Like he's literally been for a leg stretch to the end of the road. And then I took him out for a walk in hand the day before yesterday, because I've been feeling like crap this week. Um, my body has just decided to sabotage me this week. So I haven't really felt up to riding. So he's just, he's not even done any work this week. Like it's not even like we've been bombing up those big hills. Like if we'd been working hard, I'd maybe think, oh yeah, you might've pulled something to us, did something, we could have done some out riding, but there's been nothing. Literally nothing. I am so miffed and I'm so confused and I'm so annoyed and I'm so frustrated. I am so fed up with crap like this happening. Literally so fed up. Does this happen to other people or is it just me? I feel like I'm cursed. I feel like I have the competition curse. This happens every bloody year, literally every year. Um, so yeah, happy Saturday, everyone. <laughs> happy bloody Saturday. So I don't think we're gonna be going to dressage tomorrow, basically. Um, 
He was kind of like this yesterday, and I was hoping he would have improved by this morning, but he hasn't, he's got worse, so. Yeah, sometimes. I just, like, I keep staring at his legs, trying to figure out if there's, like, swelling or anything. I can't feel any swelling, but it's so bloody hard to tell with these cogs, because obviously they've got loads of feather. Um, there's, like, I can't feel anything. All I can feel is, like, some of the scabs on the backs of his knees still. That's the only thing I can feel. Yeah, there is still quite a bit of it in there, to be fair. Like, like, and he doesn't seem to care with me squidging it and poking it all, does he? Like he's not bothered. Oh, Blue. Bloody horse has never been lame. Yeah, I don't know what else to say, really. Um, I was gonna do some tack cleaning today and get all my show kit ready, but I don't think I'll bother now because there ain't no bloody point. Um, yeah, so <laughs> basically this is just the icing on the cake of a really, really crap week. Um, um, Nelly New has been out of action. So she's actually looking a lot brighter today, like a lot, lot brighter. Um, so they had their vaccinations earlier this week and she had a really nasty reaction to it, like a really, really nasty reaction. Um, she's not been well at all. She was unsteady on her feet. She was doing this weird head tilting thing. Like, I was genuinely freaked out, to be honest. I was genuinely concerned that she was having, like, a neurological reaction to the vaccination. Um, but she's looking a lot brighter today. Thank God for that. It is five days since she had the vaccination. So, you know, if we weren't improving by now, I'd be getting really, very concerned. But she's looking good now. She's still not 100% herself. Um, she is feeling well enough to pull mare face at me quite often now, though. And she was also feeling well enough to chase Stumpy around the yard yesterday. So that was a very good sign. Um, but yeah, so she's been out of action all this week. She's been very, very poorly, being very, very pitiful. I felt really sorry for her, to be fair. Um, we're strongly debating whether or not to get her vaccinated next year because um, she's had reactions for like the last three vaccinations she's had and they seem to be getting progressively worse. So yeah, I'm a little bit scared what might happen to her next year. Um, I mean, this one was bad. I mean, she's had a solid five days of absolute misery. She was in her stable for like two days. She just, oh, yeah, she was a mess. She was an absolute mess. Thankfully, she didn't lose her appetite. She was still eating, drinking, pooping and all of that. But yeah, that was, that was not fun. That actually really scared me. I've never seen Nelly that unwell before ever, 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 ever. So I didn't enjoy that. Um, so yeah, we've had that this week as well. Um, uh, so yeah, there's a nice cheerful vlog for you all. Reality does like to come along and slap us all around every now and then. I just, I don't understand why. I don't get why this keeps happening. Like, I just, yeah, I don't get it. I really just don't get it. Why? Why, why, why? Sometimes people, fun times. <laughs>